News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day, and we got markets floating right around flat to negative territory. Dow Jones negative by 16 points, trading at 27,766. S&P's flat, trading at 3,094. NASDAQ negative by 14 points, trading at 8468. The Russell off one point, trading at 1588. We start things off, all the markets right near record territory. The VIX relatively low, 1313, got a little bit of a spike yesterday, 1319. On some tough trade news, the U.S. and China sparring over some of the details of that potential phase one deal buying soybeans for the Chinese. Not quite willing to put a numerical number on that. We'll see how that shakes out. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start things off with the Dow. Currently trading 27,723. Pretty muted overnight action, not too much of a large trading range. NASDAQ 100 trading at 82.51. Actually made a high overnight of 82.84. S&P 500 trading at 3,092. You back things up to last night at about 9 p.m. We made it in the futures market to 3,099. Crude oil market, $57.52. We get the EIA numbers this morning at 11 a.m. for crude, one day later than usual because of the Monday Veterans Day holiday. Gold contract, 1467 this morning, made it to about 1471 on a couple occasions early in the morning. And the euro US dollar trading at 110 on the dot. In terms of what else you have happening fundamentally this morning, weekly jobless claims rising to a five-month high. That number, 225,000 for the week ended November 9th. Walmart out with their earnings as they beat and shares rise on a higher outlook ahead of the holidays. We'll jump over to that chart in a moment. You have the China Commerce Minister says trade war should be ended by removing tariffs. A little bit more trade rhetoric out there between the U.S. and China. Canopy Growth out with their earnings as they take a bigger loss on charges. We'll jump over to that. And Carl Icahn taking a stake in HP as he pushes for a merger with Xerox. HP shares trading higher. And we'll start it off. HP up about 1.8%. Canopy Growth, CGC, down about 13% on that number. And we'll finish it up with a high flyer Walmart up about, what's the percentage? 2.4%. Stay tuned, folks. Coming back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day at TFNAM. We'll be right back.